Welcome to Outreach Connection, focusing on topics and issues that reach our communities with the love and the power of Jesus Christ. Hello and welcome to Outreach Connection. I'm your host, Timothy Southers, and I'm really excited today I get the opportunity to talk to Anthony Cunningham about this brand new ministry called Start to Finish Ministries. But before we get started with that, I want to go over and highlight our theme verse, uh, which comes out of Mark chapter 16, verse 15, which is a part of the Great Commission. And he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Tony, so good to see you. My pleasure. Excited My that you pleasure, are here. Brother. I'm excited to talk about the Start to Finish ministry. Um, brand new ministry. Only Amen. two months old. Is that correct? Amen. That's correct. Um, so I just want to give you an opportunity to, to tell you how this came about, how, how this ministry came about um, in your mind and, and how God had, had implanted that in you. Well, it's always been a, uh, a desire and a heart to have a a place for to uh, walk with men in discipleship, um, you know, daily, every day being together. Um, you know, you can't help but look in the book of Acts and what the body uh, of believers look like in that day, you know, living together, working together, encouraging one another in the Lord. And it said, you know, they were studying the scriptures together, growing in the things of God together. And that's that's the, the main purpose of this. And And it's clear we can look around in society today and see not all men, I'm not talking about all men, but where there's a, a need for men to, to raise up in this society and be men of God, mm. be, begin a, a be, be a men of, of godly moral standards and, and be men that um, hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and, and say yes to it. And, and, and one of the major parts is in taking the Word of God and allow that, that Holy Bible that God has given us to transform our way of thinking um, instead of, you know, the way we see our, our world operating. Most definitely. You know, as, as the world does get darker around us, which mm -hmm. it is, um, we have to get brighter. That's and so what true. an opportunity we have to shine in that's, the world today. That's so true. Um, so we don't have to go with the way the world's operating mm -hmm. um, as far as, as our following the Lord and okaying what the Bible says is right in our lives and what the Bible says is bad in our lives, you know, the, the, the battle between good and evil. I mean, it's really a black and white area. Um, and, and there's God is raising up a people like, like we've never seen before, a people with a pure desire to follow Jesus and have a concern for the lost. Most definitely. Um, and that's what I see happening. Wow. Um, now, I know your, your background in ministry uh, come from your own personal story. So share it with the people who are watching about your personal story and how that came about to, to God bring you into ministry. Yeah, well, I mean, probably from the age I was 15, I mean, I was in, in the drug game. That's, I looked up to people in my life that were drug dealers and mm -hmm and totally entered into that life and, and reap the destruction that that life brought with it. Mm. Um, a, a lot of bad things. Um, you know, the way of the transgressor is hard, mm -hmm. you know. Amen. Um, and, it, and it just came to a point where I remember life had no meaning, no purpose. I didn't even want to live. And it was in 2003 where, where I was at a place where I was shooting up meth and and, you know, reap the destruction from that life. And I'll never forget because I was walking an alley in Quincy, Illinois, on the south side. I was walking from my cousins to my parents' house where I stayed. And, and in my mind, I, I was done. I was ready to go home and, and end it. Mm. And um, I didn't want to live no more. Wow. My plan was to go home and kill myself, just mm -hmm. to be perfectly blunt about it. And a... Uh, a block before I got to my parents' house is on 23rd in Ohio, right, right on that corner. I remember falling on my face and crying out to God and just saying, God, please help me. Wow. And, you know, nothing uh, super spiritual happened. All I know is I was able to go home with some kind of peace on me hmm. to go to bed, but it was that next morning I woke up and I had this desire in me to find God. Hmm. And, and there I was led to Jesus Christ as, wow. as my Lord and Savior and, and, and entered into the church. Um, but in my life, it was a heart cry. You yeah. know what I mean? Right, right. And, and God answered it. And, you know, this is the greatest miracle that, that He does in people's lives. He, so true. This is the born-again experience. Yes. 
Um, and I mean, you're never the same from that day you're, you're really born again. Mm. We should be able to look back and see that day. Yep, that's the day I was born again that's because right. life hasn't been the same since Every then. Sense, yeah. It doesn't become perfect, but there's something that God puts in you. And what I've become to, to learn was, hey, that's his Holy Spirit that he put in me. That's right. Creating new desires, creating a, you know, the scriptures say those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they will be filled, Most you know. Definitely. And it's a hunger and thirst after the righteousness that God provides for us through Jesus Christ. And it's a beautiful work only he can do, Most you know. Definitely. But he has to have that heart that, that cries out to him That's so and true. surrenders to him. And I mean, he, literally, you got pulled out of the fire. But the great thing about it is not only did you get pulled out of the fire, but you went back into the fire and pulled other people out. Amen. And uh, talk a little bit about the Victorious Living program that you were a part of and yeah. how that grown even to what the ministry you're doing today. Yeah. Well, uh, the Victorious Living, you know, I, we was connected with the cathedral and Pastor Ray and mm -hmm. we was, you know, really plugging in there with them. And, and I know myself as a Christian at that time, was struggling. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I would do good for, for, for a long period and then have these falls, you mm -hmm. know, and, but I could never stay in that old life. I just, I just couldn't. And, and thank God Pastor Ray and I worked together because he began to speak life into me and get me plugged in to what was going on at the cathedral through the uh, victorious living. But what made the difference was having a person come into my life mm -hmm. and begin to walk with me and help disciple me and at that point, I, and I know it was the intake of the word, the intake of, of purpose in my life, a vision that God gives mm -hmm. that totally delivered me from even the desires to want to fall back into that life. I don't know. It's like a, a new strength that God gives you. Most um, and, and staying under that consistent study of the word, that, that the mind being transformed, uh, being renewed yeah. by the word of God. And and so we were able to, to branch off, and, and I got to lead the Victorious Living at Grandview Church. Okay. Um, so we did that for five uh, years yeah. um, and got to see some pretty amazing things come through it. But, but there's also something, you know, I, I, I just have to be real about, you know. There, there's a lot of people here that we need to walk with daily. Mm. Um, yeah, the programs are great. Nothing against them, you know. Mm -hmm. But they can only produce so much in a person. Um, but it, it's where we come to this place, you know, Jesus said, go and make disciples. That's right. That's um, right. You know, the, the pro, it, it takes so much more than just showing up in a building on Wednesday night, showing up in a building on Sunday. Wow. Or being, you know, it, it takes walking this together, living yeah. life together. Um, again, we can look at the book of Acts and see where that was displayed. Um, carrying each other's burdens, mm -hmm. um, loving one another. Um, this is God's plan from the very beginning. Yeah. And I can see he's trying to get people to get back to that place. Yeah, most definitely. Um, and that's what we want to do. That's awesome. I mean, you talk about that. And we in our, our theme verse is, is uh, Mark's account of the Great Commission. Yeah. Uh, but then in Matthew's account of the Great Commission, it talks Amen. about um, in Matthew 28, 18 through 20 uh, about making disciples. Amen. And the importance Amen. of doing that, of making a, discipleship is not a process that happens automatically. That's just because right. you show up at a building on, on two days or one day a week, but it's a part of that walking with them. And that's where it came from, the Start to Finish Ministries. Tell us the mission of the Start to Finish Ministries. Man, the so it was, um, I was in prayer uh, at my church. Um, I think it was the night, uh, June, July, August, like uh, August, September, I think. And in prayer, I had to go back to my journal, but I seen in there where through prayer, God showed me he wanted to start a living house. Hmm. And at that time, you know, I didn't have nothing in my possession, um, but he, he spoke that to me. I wrote it in my journal. Um, and then, you know, I think it was a couple months after that, I had one of my customers, um, she had a house and she said, Tony, this house has brought so much darkness to my family. If you will use this house for ministry, I will give it to you. Wow. And I was just like, Wow, who gives somebody a house? Mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm, I mean? And this mm -hmm. ain't just a junky house. You're right. You know, this this is a, a, a nice, decent home. Um and and it was just like, wow, God, you showed me this. I mean, the Holy Spirit will lead us, guide us in all truth and even that's show right. us things to come. That's right. And and so that's that's where again, because of a, a another person hearing the Spirit of God tell them to do something, put it in the hands of somebody else and, and making that commitment to do 
uh, what he wants to do with it. Um, and that's how it came into my possession. Wow. So we say yes to God. Yes, Amen. yes, Lord. This is what you want to use this for? Okay. This is what we're going to do. All right. So you had this house in this house. You said how many people can are living in this house currently? Uh, currently, we have two people okay. in, in the house. All right. um, we're, we've remodeled it. We're not all the way finished. Okay. Um, we, we plan to have an open date, but things just started happening way before that. So my plans are a little different than God's plans. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, and that's what we want to hear. We want to hear God's plans and, and move in those things, Most um, definitely. even to the blueprint of how the house is going to operate, the daily schedule, all those things are a blueprint that he's, he's given us. Well, talk a little bit about that blueprint. I'd love to hear um, that. So the, so the blueprint of it is it's going to be, you know, very disciplined house. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be all business. Um, so 730, the guys are up. Um, 830, they enter into Bible study. And this is the very most important part of what goes on there is entering into the word of God. Um, I have people from my church, other churches that, that come in and, and we sit together and we study the word of God. Um, from 830 to 1030, we take a quick break back into the word. Um, then we get to go to Horizons at, at lunchtime um, and rub shoulders with people um, and, and be a blessing to them, too. That's wow. what we're wanting to do. And then in the afternoon, we have a little bit of work time. And then in the evening, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we plug in with the different churches in Quincy, what they have to offer. Monday night, we do the regeneration. Tuesday night, we do the Bible study with Parkview Church. Wednesday night, we go to Grandview Church. Um, Thursday night, we're uh, going to be going to Addiction Free in Christ. And Friday night, we have a guest speaker come in. Um, but the, the uh, Bible study is, is very consistent every morning. Wow. So, and this is what it's going to take to get that foundation built and to see the body of Christ come together um, and work together. I, I just, I see God dropping all the denominational boundaries. That's what I was going to say, talk and, about. Yeah. yeah I those, think that's amazing that you did the collaboration with the other churches, which I amen. think is so much needed um, in Quincy everywhere. But of course, here, right here in Quincy and in the tri-state area, um, working with the other, other, not just a part of their, uh, talk a little bit about how you work with the other uh, ministries and, and other churches in town and how they're able, able to help you and how they've been uh, helped to your ministry. Yeah. Um, you know, like Grandview Church, uh, the Fisher Men Ministry, the mm -hmm. Crossing Church, um, Parkview. Um, these are who have been working with us so far and, and from Pittsville, the Assemblies of God there. Mm -hmm. um, we have a Christian counselor. Um, that, that'll come in and counsel wow. with guys from the from the Pittsfield uh, church there. Um, it's 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 the body of Christ seeing seeing the the, the needs of, of what we're doing and coming in and supplying us with finances with with um, you know toiletry items, uh, men's items, um, food, uh, all these things that it's going to take to to keep this ministry up and going, um, oh, supplying definitely. all the needs for it. Wow. Um, because me personally. I have devoted myself totally to this, and, yeah. and it, there's such a joy in serving men, mm -hmm. and 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 doing my best to be that example, um, just like Jesus is the example for us, mm -hmm. you know, uh, to walk together with them. So yeah, the body of Christ has carried us, and this is the beautiful thing about it. That is amazing. I, I just I love the whole idea of the discipleship house. Is how you, yeah. you've described it to me. Um, and you know, you have a, a placement for, for up to five people, and you're looking at a, a second house. Is that correct? Yeah, we we have a second house. I just have to get all the legal aspects in order of it, um, and just just get. But it's in my possession, mm -hmm. um, and it's just you know God's timing, and that's where we want to move because it's a 3,900. Uh, square foot, wow. uh, where we will be able to take in more more people, mm -hmm. um, and it, it's just going to be more effective for the ministry. Wow! Um, so God's He's putting things in order. It isn't happening like that as quick as I would like for it to, but in mm -hmm. other areas it is. Um, so. We're trusting him 100 percent with Most this. Definitely. And I know that you guys are you talked about you guys being a 501 C3. Yes, is that correct? Yes, so yes. you guys have an op opportunity for people to, to help along with. Yes. This, is that correct? Yep, yep. What's, what's the way people can get, get involved? Um, you know, one of the major ways of being involved would be financially. To mm -hmm. it. Um, I do have people that sew into it um, and the ministry will be um, in the afternoon. Uh, we, we have uh, board members that are business owners that, that the guys will work for them. Mm. Um, so, 
So it's not like trying to sit back and not work right. and, and have money, because if a man doesn't work, what does the Bible say? You can eat. That's, that's right. right. That's so right. so this yeah. is part of the discipleship, mm -hmm. uh, uh, getting out there and doing what we do is into the Lord. Wow. Um, so so we ha uh, the afternoons will be used to go out and, and work and create the finances that will go right back into the ministry also. Wow. Um, and then other areas are, you know, basic needs, mm -hmm. the, the, the soap, the twin size sheets, mm -hmm. towels, um, you know, just those things that, that everybody um, needs for, for just daily keeping hygiene things, right. um, you know, all those things. Wow. And, and we can never have enough Bibles um, because we work with people outside the house. Um, a lot of the homeless people we're, we're able to uh, provide some meals for because everything that we have is the Lord's. Mm -hmm. And if there's a need, we're going to take what we have and share with them also. Most so it definitely. isn't just give stuff to the house for us to contain for ourselves. Right. Um, more blessed is it to give than it is to receive. Yeah, you must and, definitely. And so we're finding ourselves um, in a place of being able to reach out to the homeless too yeah. and, and not giving out of our abundance, but giving out of even our lack at mm -hmm. times uh, mm -hmm. to to help needs. Um, so it's amazing what he's doing. Wow. He just needs a willing heart that's to all, say yes that's, that's to him. Exactly that's what, what he needs. He needs. That's exactly what he needs. Well, talk a little bit about the vision that you have. What do you see, you know, over the next five years for this? I mean, and of course, yeah. always, we always leave room for God, vision-wise and not. I totally understand yeah. that. But, but what would you like to see uh, the Start to Finish ministry grow into uh, over the next couple of years? Yeah. And this is the beautiful part. And I have to go back to the great Welsh revival. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I have to go back to yeah. in 1903, 1904. It was a time where a whole society was changed by the spirit of God. Wow. Yeah. Um, where the Holy spirit was drawing people unto himself in a place of repentance without one preacher standing out there. I mean, the whole society changed where the, even the police station had to lay people off because the crime rate went down so wow. far where taverns were not thriving because they turned them into chapels where people could go and worship. Even mm -hmm. prostitute houses were, were houses of praise. And, mm -hmm. and you've seen a whole society. Uh, imagine the United States not having a Super Bowl mm -hmm. because everybody's interested in getting right with God. Mm -hmm. That's what happened in the revival yeah. in Wales, England in, in those years. Mm -hmm. and, and we know that God is wanting to do something major, not just in our areas, but in this whole United States. That's right, it's true. Um, calling people back to him, but we have to do our part in our area. So the vision is seeing men raised up, mm -hmm. walking in what God has called them to, um, being men of, of, of the word of God, being men that's not gonna let the, the moral aspect of, of what world, the world says is, is okay, um, you know, uh, be what they are, are walking in or thinking of men that are going to walk in line with the word of God, according, you know, and follow the Holy Spirit. Mm. That this is what it's going to take for our society to change. That's right. So true. And it starts with the men. I it mean, it really does. It starts with the men and being the head, you know, the head of the households. People, and it sounds like, you, you know, the age group you're talking about, 18 to 55. I mean, yeah, somewhere in that nature. Yeah, so yeah. it's, it's going to yeah. be able to, to, to encompass a, a whole bunch of individuals who has the opportunity to grow in Christ and that whole idea, you know, the word for, you know, discipleship and that whole idea of Kavanaugh walking right. with, um, it's so important. That's, that's a, a major part of a person's growth in Christ is to have somebody walking alongside of them and Amen. guiding them and, and letting them know what it is. Cause we, we, nobody knows it all, right. but, but it's important that we have people who walk beside us and, and have the, the opportunity to show us the way and what, what we ought to go and how to understand and open up the word of God for us. And those things are so, so important. And, and that's why I think this, this, uh, ministry is so important, you know, from start to finish ministries. Talk yeah. a little bit even how you came about with that name. Well, that, that name's based on Philippians 1, 6. Because, okay. cause, I mean, if we think about this, we're, I mean, we're really giving everything to Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, I mean, and as a follower of Jesus Christ, I mean, where do we walk in that place where we just follow him so far and then then take part of it back in our own hands and try to make these things happen. And I, I just know for me personally, he's calling me to a place, everything, everything, yeah. everything. 
Most definitely. And and just like Philippians 1, 6, it says, For I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. That's right. So God's faithfulness, we don't have to worry about. He wow. is faithful. And, and not everything's going to go the way we want it to. Not mm -hmm. everything's going to go according to how, you know, our minds might plan it to go. But God's faithfulness to walk with us, carry us, and show us that way. I mean, the footsteps of the righteous are ordered from the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's a way that seems right to a man, but in some form or another, it's going to lead to destruction. That's right. And for us to be in tune with His Holy Spirit, in tune with the Word of God, we're, we're, we will be able to see the will of God unfolded in our lives individually. Um, we know that, that, you know, the body of Christ, there's a corporate call on the body of Christ mm -hmm. uh, to walk according to the Bible, That's right. what we learn. But each one of us have that individual call Yes, that, that we learn through the Holy Spirit, through communion with God, through our relationship with Jesus and His Holy Spirit. And as God begins to show us that, by faith we begin to enter into that place. Most definitely. And, and not that we get it right every time, because we can't, I mean, we can't be scared to even miss it. You yeah, know what I mean? That's right. I mean, if we're going to miss it, we're going to do it trying to follow Him. That's right, yeah. So, but the Holy Spirit will never mislead us. Yeah. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Wow, wow. So, with your opportunity to pursue God together with people, yep. um, you know, just tell us about some of the, the individuals you had the opportunity to work with thus far and how it's changed their yeah. life. Yeah, um, you know, I got a phone call, uh, I don't know, a week and a half or so ago. Um, from a guy who, you know, he, he was ready to kill himself. He mm. called me to, to take him to the hospital. And it, it was uh, very troubling. And, and, and my plan at first was to take him to the hospital, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but I ended up picking him up and taking him to the ministry house where, where I have the house lead, uh, a man from, from Indiana that God has groomed to lead this house. Um, and we just began to minister to this man for mm. hours. Mm. And, and to be able to take the time to minister to him till 11 o'clock at night mm -hmm. um, where, where he entered into this place of repentance. God draw, drew him. I mean, we watched it before our very eyes him break and, and enter into this wow. place of repentance where he was so offended by the church, where he was so offended by Christians that, that have done these, you know, bad things or whatever. Um, and that's that's where he was hurt the most from mm. the body of Christ. Wow. You know what I mean? And and when he when I seen this place of repentance that he came into, it just seemed like it broke everything. Mm. And then the next day, man, he was able to enter right into the Word of God. Wow! And 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 jump right into this routine that we have. Um, and and I didn't see this man go through withdrawals or anything. I, I've seen the light of God come into him, hope mm -hmm. be restored in him. And, and God is actually using him as we, you know, go around um, to, to some other places to pray for people, uh, share hope with them, share his testimony with them. And it's, it's just amazing how God will take somebody's life, whoever's heart is surrendered to him, and use them. I mean, it's a real testimony of 2 Corinthians 5.17, mm -hmm. that those that are in Christ Jesus, they're, they're new creations. Right. The old is, is gone, yeah. and behold, the new is to come. Oh, wow. And yeah. now all things are of God. Now, if all things are of God, we can expect this result. That's true. But if all things aren't of God, we're only going to get some of the result. That's true. So it's yeah. about giving it all to God. Wow. There might be somebody Amen. who's watching today who, who doesn't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So yeah. I would like you just to, to give them that invitation right now to make yeah. Jesus their Lord. Yeah, well, praise God for that. So. So we all know um, where we're at with the Lord, and, and we know that our, where our relationship is with Him. And, and I, I want to encourage you, um, not only in a place of, of coming to Him, but, but also in a place, of, if you're in the lukewarm place of Him, um, that there's, there's so much that God wants to do when you say yes to Him, when you get up in your heart, and you just make that decision to say yes to Him and to follow Him. And even if... Um, it's so much more. Yes, the, it, do not forsake the assembling together of the saints. Um, yes, we, we need to be plugged in with our local church and we need to be um, under the authority of the church because when God moves, it's going to be through the church and that, that's who he's moving through. Um, so whoever's watching and, and you're at that place where, where you, you, you know there's more, um, you know there's, there's a closer place that God's calling you to, 
Um, I do. I, I just ask that you might um, just just open your heart and consider this place of of saying yes to Him and crying out to Him for that place. So, if if we can take a quick moment and and just 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 close your eyes with me and just pray and 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 open your heart to Him, Lord. I do. I lift up those that 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 are at that place where they know there's more. They know there's more, but it also know it's going to take more self-discipline to Him. So, Lord, those that that have that desire inside of them to be closer to you, those that don't know you, Lord, that want to know you. Lord, we thank, I thank you for your Holy Spirit that comes in and draws people into yourself. And, and to simply say yes to you in my heart and, and to know what it is that Jesus has done with us uh, through the cross, through the resurrection, that, that when he went to that cross, he, he, he took away what it is that, that caused separation from man and God. So, Lord, I thank you as we confess our sin to you and we repent and we receive you, Lord, that that sin that, that separates us from God is removed and now we can be in a place of communion with you and living with you, with your Holy Spirit living in us. So, Lord, I do, I ask that the people that are watching, they surrender their, their heart to you, they say yes to you, and they begin to get up and go after what it is and what it takes to follow you. So, Lord, I do, I pray against any hindrance that keeps the men and women of God in this day, in this society, um, from following you with all of their hearts, God. So, Lord, I do, I ask for these people that say yes to you to even call WTJR, even call uh, their, their local church and let them know what they did so they can get plugged in and continue in this journey that you have for their lives, Lord. Amen. So I thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Tony. I appreciate well, it. You. And thank you for, for joining us today, Outreach Connection. This is definitely a ministry, start to finish ministry. Uh, it's definitely a ministry you want to get involved with. Uh, Anthony Cunningham is an outstanding individual who, who understands the heart of what it takes to be a part of discipleship. Um, and so I would, I, would, I would urge you to get involved. Um, I know there's a pulling and you, you've been listening today, you've been watching and something, man, that's something I want to get involved in. That's the Holy Spirit telling you that, that that's something you want to get involved in. So please reach out to Anthony. Uh, please reach out uh, to Start to Finish Ministries and get involved because this is something that, that is going to really help this, this community as a whole. Thank you for watching uh, Outreach Connection, and we'll see you next time. Contact us at Outreach Connection, WTJR 222 North 6th Street, Quincy, Illinois 62301.